Fellowship Kids, and welcome to Kids Church. We are so excited to see you this morning. Are you ready to have a good time? Are you ready to learn about Jesus? Well, then you are in the exact right place. Gather your brothers and sisters and family around the TV because we are going to talk and learn about Jesus this morning. Welcome to Kids Church. Peter was one of Jesus' disciples who became a leader in the early church. He wrote two letters in the Bible to help believers who were facing hard times. When Peter wrote his second letter, he was in a Roman prison. He had been arrested because he was a follower of Jesus. Peter wrote, We have everything we need because we know Jesus. When we trust in his righteousness, he gives us power to live for him. He is good and he promises us good things. So this is how we should seek to live. Along with faith, seek these things. Goodness, knowledge, self-control, patience, brotherly affection, and love. When we have these qualities, Jesus will be glorified in our lives. When we remember the good promises God has for us, we can rely on his power to resist temptation. Peter wanted the believers to remember what Jesus had done for them. Jesus did the greatest work by dying on the cross. He has taken away our sins. Because of Jesus, God invites us into his kingdom and gives us eternal life. Peter wrote, God has chosen you and given you his power, so do everything you can to live like Jesus. Peter knew he was going to die soon. So he also wrote, you already know what I'm telling you. I want to keep reminding you as long as I am living so that you will remember even after I'm gone. We did not tell you made up stories. We told you what we saw and heard. Jesus lived a perfect life and died the death we deserve for our sin. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sins and changes our hearts. Jesus calls and empowers his followers to live like him. No greater news, no greater love. His name is Jesus. Come on, we're gonna praise the sun. Jesus is here. Jesus has won. Jesus is life. Come on, we're gonna have some fun. Hey there, 
I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Jessie, check it out. My mom found my old WWJD bracelet. I used to wear this when I was your age. And look, it still fits. What kind of bracelet? <laughs> A WWJD bracelet. WWJD? What does that mean? It means, what would Jesus do? WWJD. Wearing this bracelet helped me remember to live like Jesus. The bracelet reminded me to ask myself the question, what would Jesus do in every situation? Ah, oh, I get it. That's cool. Yeah, I wore it today because of our Bible story. Oh yeah? What is today's Bible story about? Well, today we are learning about a letter Jesus' disciple Peter wrote to the followers of Jesus. He wanted to remind them to live like Jesus. Listen to the story. Peter was one of Jesus' disciples. He was a leader in the church and wrote two letters to help other people who were following Jesus during hard times. When Peter wrote a second letter, he was in prison. He had been arrested for following Jesus. Peter wrote, Jesus gives us everything we need. He gives us power to live for him. He is good and he promises us good things. Peter reminded the people in the church how they should try to live. Anyone who has faith in Jesus should also try to have these things. Goodness, knowledge, self-control, patience, brotherly affection, and love. Jesus is honored when we live like him. Peter wanted the believers to remember what Jesus had done for them. Jesus died on the cross to take away their sins. Because of Jesus, God invites us into his family and gives life with him forever. Peter wrote, God has chosen you and given you his power, so do everything you can to live like Jesus. Peter also wrote, you already know what I am telling you. I want to keep reminding you as long as I am living so that you will remember even after I am gone. We did not tell you made up stories. We told you what we saw and heard. Jesus lived a perfect life and died the death we deserve for our sin. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sin and changes our hearts. Jesus helps his followers live like him. Okay kids, are you ready to do the Go Beyond chant? Let's do it together. We look up and love God. We look in and know God. We look out and share God. And we do it every day. Okay, kids, we just finished church today and it was so fun. I'm so glad you joined us today. Parents, don't forget, click show more down below for awesome worship, really cool lessons, and fun activities for the whole week so that you can help encourage your children learn about this awesome Bible story they just listened to all week long. Now, before we go, I wanna make sure we pray and then I hope you have an awesome week. Let's go to the Father in prayer. Father God, we are so thankful for you. We know that you are the creator of all things, but that you also love each and every one of us so much. Thank you for your son, Jesus, and for everything he did for us to show us how to have a relationship with you forever. We love you, God. It's in your name, Jesus, that we pray.